Good morning and happy Sabbath. It is uh, March 11th, 2017. And uh, I just wanted to come outside and enjoy the morning a little bit while it's still cool here in Florida and build a little fire and just do my Bible study outside. Um, <clears throat> I think this morning um, the the subject that is that has been placed on my heart this morning is on foolishness and that is a, a big issue for myself um, how to not be a fool and by not being a fool I don't mean <clears throat> I don't mean being ignorant it's okay to be ignorant um, it, it's it's okay not to know something I think we have to may look up that scripture but once you know then you're accountable aren't you um, basically my my gist is on on maturity the bible speaks of a fool as being somebody who is just willingly ignorant and I, I don't want to be willingly ignorant and i also don't want my actions and my reactions to reflect an unholy immaturity as it were i think case in point <clears throat> and nothing happened that you know recently that, that makes me bring this to mind but you know road rage you think about how you behave when you drive I think that's going to be a baseline indicator of one's level of maturity. Um, coming from the performance background that I did, I have I have got a face that is very reactive, and I, I show that, <laughs> and I and I love to express that. Somebody comes beside me, you know, I can I give them full reaction, the whole I'm not obscene, but. Sometimes just letting things go that just aren't worth pursuing is probably the first step to to maturity. <laughs> just knowing when to let things slide off. But uh, I did a search on my Olive Tree app, on um, and I just typed in the word fool, and the, the word fool is found 62 times in the King James Bible. And I do personally prefer King James myself. I, I do like that one as the the best of all of them um, <clears throat> the where is it I lost it it says ah here it is and it's mentioned I did not realize this that, that it was mentioned twice in the Bible but when I heard the verse about the fool saying in his heart there is no God now uh, that's mentioned twice that's in Psalm 14 1 and Psalm 53 1 so that's that's brought up twice and I did not realize that so the beginning of wisdom is um, the acknowledgement of God, for starters. So the Psalm 41 says, The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. And it goes on from there. Um, and where is the other one? Uh, Psalm, yeah, Psalm 53, 1. The fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they, and have done abominable in iniquity. So those two spots. But again, the, the foolishness that I'm, I'm referring to is just on not being dumb. <clears throat> Common sense, I guess, is um, I have always been admonished to have as I was growing up. Which common sense is not common. We realize we... I remember being scolded as a child... Um, for not having common sense, but it's like I think that's part of what growing up is about and the things that are common sense for an adult are not common sense for a child and I think there is a, a level of, of um, I think maturity in its own right and understanding that with, with some kids I don't know how I got into that, but I think that was a sore subject with me as a kid because uh, I would be scolded you know, that's just common sense you know, you don't you know, you don't walk in front of a street with a car coming it's just common sense well as a kid you, you just don't make that synaptic connection um, but I'm looking at Ephesians 5 uh, verse 15 see then that you walk circumspect, circumspectly not as fools but as wise uh, basically just be just be smart just be vigilant and it goes on to say redeeming the time because the days are evil. Um, this, this, you know, it's speaking of um, making good use of the time. 
Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. So much to unpack in that one little section right there, and I'm not going to go into all of it because I see so many things. I mean, we can speak on the fear of the Lord. We can speak on thanksgiving. We can speak on um, drunkenness and excessiveness. But the first, one of the earlier verses up here, 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil. What's the expression? Make hay while the sun shines. You know, that, uh, you know, make hay while the sun shines. It says, wherewith be ye not unwise. So that's, it sounds like a command. Don't be unwise. So that means that, that wisdom, wisdom is a choice. So, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. So, <clears throat> so don't be stupid is a command. Don't be, don't be unsmart. <laughs> don't be ignorant. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. So this is a revelation for me because I'm just now paying attention to this, but it seems that, um, we can know what the will, the will of the Lord is. It, it seems to be perfectly viable. Um, speaking into my own future, I'm like, I, I wonder what that is. I'm praying, ask the Lord every day. I'm like, Lord, what in the world do you want me to do? Where do you want me to be? And apparently just, you know, being where I am right now is, is what he wants. But um, just go with his will. But that's just basic, the basic gist of it. Just this morning, I wanted to read a little bit and just enjoy um, reading some of the Bible to you and maybe talking with you. If you have any comments or even questions, I'll, I'll try my best. But um, just give a little thumbs up and a like, and uh, <laughs> or don't. Uh, yeah, it's what I, you know. It's okay. Or don't. But uh, that's basic gist of it. But I'm just basically here, just enjoying my morning, just sitting here with my cup of coffee. I know, yeah, I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. I know a lot of Adventists don't like coffee. Don't They don't do this coffee, but I do. I like, I'm sorry, I like coffee. Um, listening to the woodpecker up there. I, you hear? I don't know if you can hear him or not. There's a woodpecker. <laughs> and enjoy the fire. And then my friend, the cat over there. Oh, she's asleep on the mat. So she's the cat on the mat. Asleep over there. Um, Going to be begging for a little treat soon. I just fed her. But just enjoying the day. It's a day of rest and <sighs> just uh, just getting into it and enjoying this nice, cool Florida weather. So I hope everyone has a good day and I will we'll talk to you soon. See you. Bye-bye.